up guys? Thanks for checking out Armor Test Reviews. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Pinty slash Hiram uh, Red Dot Sight. First, I just wanna apologize for probably the very slight echo you can hear and for the very unappealing background um, that is usually much better. Um, I am in the middle of finishing my gun room um, and it's just taking me a while. I do it on the side. I got a lot of things going on. I got a baby, my first baby on the way next month. So um, it, it's coming, it's, it's a work in progress, but this is not my usual background, just so you guys know. Um, and then uh, full disclosure uh, with Pinty, they sent me the, sent this out to me to do a review. They also sent a flashlight uh, for a pistol. Uh, if you want to check that out, um, they sent both to me free of charge. Um, they didn't pay me, they didn't ask me to do a good review. They just said, hey, check these out, tell your viewers what you think of them. Um, so I'll put, um, a card. I don't know. It's reversed. I don't, I don't know which side. Um, I think over here, maybe, um, to that video, if you want to watch that, um, but let's get into the review for the, uh, Pinty red dot site. So first let's address the Hiram, uh, thing on here. You guys can see it says Hiram on there. I asked, uh, I asked them about that. Why, uh, it says Hiram on there. Apparently Pinty acquired Hiram, uh, a while ago. And so it's kind of a, they call it a collaboration, I guess, kind of thing, but they partnered with them, whatever, they bought them, something. But they're basically one and the same now. So first, let's go over the optic, then we'll go over what's in the, what comes in the box. Um, comes with a little rubber, you know, bikini, bikini covered things, right? Um, uh, it says battery CR2032. So that's good. It has uh, a marker on the cap to tell you which side should be positive. See, it has a green and red marker on there because this can be a green or red dot. Uh, I just don't fully understand what the markings mean so far. So we'll get into that. It does come with caps um, for adjustability. The caps come off to expose the turrets, which were longer than I expected. Uh, you know, standard um, little silver kind of screw style that has a little slot with little notches on it. It does have up and down markers on the, the screws and then has a right marker for winded as well. As I said, that window, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll do a close up if you need it. Um, that window is very small. Uh, I mean, even if you are, have both eyes open as you should with the red dot, just, it just seems small. We'll see once it's, it's lit up. Um, so let's do a little uh, box unboxing. There's a little bag that has the manual, obligatory cleaning cloth, and the battery and an Allen key. That's, that's nice. I still don't really understand the markers on this, but basically the front button is green, the back button is red, and you, you cycle through them for brightness. So you don't go up or down or, or anything for brightness. You just keep hitting the same, like if you want red, you just hit the red button over and over again and it, it goes through steps of a higher brightness and then it resets to the lowest and then goes up just like, you know, like a ladder. So. Um, let's see if I took, if I take green to the lowest setting, take red to the highest setting. So the brightness is the same. They're, they're consistent across both red and green. Um, all you're literally all you're doing is just changing the color to turn it off, push both buttons at the same time. Pretty standard operation for a lot of these push button red dots. All right, then. As you can see, it has a relatively tall mount, probably use that, you know, a lot of AR-15s, depending on what you have on there. And then we have a low mount. You guys can see that. And then this, this mount is skeletonized. It's a little bit smaller uh, footprint. Um, it's a, almost a, it's a slightly shorter than the mount that it comes on. So it has a four MOA uh, dot on here. Um, you know, not, not terrible. Um, you can see the emitter slightly protruding into the sight picture. It's somewhat common with the cheaper optics. Uh, a moment ago, I mentioned brightness comes with seven different brightness settings. Um, as I found in the other video, um, Pinty's instructions on the, P Pinty's data on their products on the website does not really match up with the product. For example, um, on the website, it says to press both buttons simultaneously to change settings. When you do that, it just turns it off. Um, you only have to press it, just click and they're off. On top it says off, hold five seconds. So then on, on the actual optic, it's saying hold both buttons for five seconds, turn it off. It's, it's instantaneous. You, you, I mean, if I turn it on, 
and I just quickly push, it's off. Like that's, so whatever. So again, a little bit of inconsistency with the data. It's probably just the translation problem. Um, in the manual, it says it's a 22 millimeter window. Um, on the website, it says 20. So I'm not exactly sure which one it is uh, exactly. So it's a Picatinny mount to attach to your rail. Um, it comes with a 0.83 inch riser, and then you've got a more of a low profile mount as well. They say it's waterproof, fog proof, and shock proof. Who knows, maybe I'll test that down the road. Um, I'd be very curious to see how actually, actually how durable this is. Uh, you know, if it's the features and the translation is not as great, but it's actually really, really durable for the money, that's pretty good trade off for, for some people. So I might test that in the future. Uh, I'm just looking at the manual here because some of this information I couldn't find online. Um, they claim the battery life is between 150 and 220 hours. I'm guessing if you were to go with the middle brightness setting, it'd be in the middle somewhere of that range. It takes one CR2032 battery. It does say to uh, tighten the mounting screw between 45 and 65 inch pounds of torque, which is kind of nice. Some companies never put that on their manual for some reason. Uh, supposedly it weighs about 5.4 ounces. I don't know with which mount that is, if that's without a mount. Um, and on my scale down here to measure it, uh, but if they claim 5.4 ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, see how it feels and how it looks, and uh, see how it does. All right, let's, uh, looks all right. Let's go ahead and throw this down. It's a pretty good height for AR-15 for me anyway. And my head's slightly off the, it's touching the stock, but um, if I push into the stock, I can't see the, the dot anymore. So, um, you know, might want to lower that a little bit. Maybe the, uh, maybe this other mount might be a little bit better. It works though. I really like the green dot, um, which I think a lot of people are starting to like more and more. That's why more companies are coming out the green dot. Uh, it just stands out better. Um, I'll have to see how it does in the daylight, how much it uh, gets washed out in like a like bright day. I'm in Utah, there's snow right now. So if I were to go out, it, it would probably wash out quite a bit with the snow in the background, um, but we'll see. So anyway, that's it guys for the Pinty Red Dot site. I'll take it out and uh, put it through its paces a little bit more um, and see how it holds up. Maybe beat it around a little bit just to kind of see um, how well it does. Maybe a little torture test video coming down the road. We'll see. Uh, anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions, let me, do, let me know down in the, the comments down below. I can't talk right now. Um, and I'm usually pretty good at responding. You can also message me on Facebook, check out my Facebook page, Instagram. I'll answer on those. Um, and hopefully my gun room will be done soon and will look so good, so good is what I'm hoping. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and take care.